welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing the no makeup makeup look. I recently asked you guys on Instagram what type of video you wanted to see from me next and I got a few responses. One of those was the no makeup makeup look. So that is why we are doing this video today. Plus, it's really hot outside, it's almost summer, and I just felt like a more natural look was pretty dang perfect for this time of the year. I know with me, it's really hot, and I can't be bothered with just like sweating a bunch of makeup off, so I usually just tend to go for something more natural. And if you're more of a natural gal, I feel like this is a perfect like everyday look for you. It just makes you feel a little bit more put together, so... Yeah, I'm gonna keep this intro a little bit more like short because I feel like my past few have been a little long. So with that being said, if you guys wanna see how I created this no makeup makeup look, then go ahead and stay tuned for today's video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first product that we're gonna be using today is gonna be the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Priming Water, and you can prep, set, and refresh the skin with this. Today we're actually gonna be using this for prepping the skin, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on before we go in with any type of foundation. And this does have coconut in it, which is really, really good for hydrating, so I thought this would be perfect for a more natural look to kinda plump the skin up a little bit and keep it really hydrated and dewy so first I'm going to shake it and then I just do a few um, sprays because it's pretty like hydrating so I don't need too many and it literally smells so good I know I've said that in my other videos but it smells so 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 good and it takes a little bit to sink in since it is so hydrating so if you're in a rush I usually will just grab my dampened beauty sponge and just kind of help press it into the skin. If you guys see any type of pink like on my skin, I recently like touched my hair up and whenever I do that, I literally get pink everywhere. Like my bathtub is a mess. Like the entire bottom is hot pink. So I think I have a little bit right here. Like as I'm pushing this into my face, I can see a little bit of pink here and there. So yeah, I think even the bottom of my hands are a little pink. So if you see that, that's what's up. <laughs> So now we're gonna go in with a little bit of this Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. It's the Mega Cushion Foundation SPF 15. And I'm in the shade 107A Cream Ivory Light Medium. Hmm, that's a very long name. And let me just show you, this is what the front of the packaging looks like. And then when you turn it over, this is actually like the product. So you can actually see what the product looks like. And then when you open it up, it does have like a little mirror right here. I don't wanna blind you guys. But then it does have a cap to keep the product protected so it doesn't dry out, which is really nice. And then you have just a, a cushion in here. And obviously the product is like deep down inside of there. But if you ever feel like this um, top layer doesn't have as much product to it anymore, this sponge actually comes out and you can flip it over. And like where you see all this product here, there's a ton of product still in the bottom. So you can flip it over and get most of that out of there. So the way that I like to apply it is to take my Dampen Beauty sponge and just press it straight into the little sponge here. Now since we are using a sponge on a sponge, you do have to kind of press in there pretty dang hard. And then we're just gonna start applying. I'm gonna start with just like one side of my face so that you guys can really see the type of coverage it gives. Um, it's not a full, full coverage product, which you don't really want on no makeup makeup days. You want it to look like your skin, but maybe just a little bit more perfected. I personally love this because it has F SPF 15 in it. So I feel like I'm getting my sunscreen and getting a little bit of coverage as well, which is really nice. I totally think I will probably go up a shade in this here soon since it is getting to be summer now and i've been to the beach like a ton recently so i've gotten pretty dang tan like my arms are pretty i mean i'm not like that tan <laughs> i need to calm down i'm over exaggerating a little but i have gotten a bit more golden here and there so i think it's time to step up a shade so this is basically, let me scoot in because I feel like sometimes you guys cannot see up close, but this is basically one side done and then one side with nothing on it. And you can just see that it really evened out my complexion and it covered up a couple of blemishes. They're still a little red, but I will do a little spot concealing in a second for those. But yeah, it looks really nice and fresh and luminous and healthy.
Okay, so now we're looking really pale, like literally so pale, but we'll bronze and all of that fun stuff in a little bit. But now let's move on to a little bit of concealer. So the concealer that I'm gonna be using today is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair 10. This is my favorite like everyday concealer. So I have like the e.l.f. concealer here and the ColourPop one, which are really, really good full coverage concealers or like when I'm doing full glam makeup. But whenever I just want something a little bit more natural and luminous, I usually will go for the Maybelline Fit Me because it's really quick and easy to blend out and it's a little bit lighter than those other concealers so we're gonna use this today so we're not gonna go really crazy with this like we normally do like the large triangles under the eyes I'm just gonna do it where I absolutely feel like I need it the most so definitely around the eye area where I have a bit of darkness and then I'm gonna do a little on the lids we will go in and do the brows in a second but I want to go ahead and hide whoa I look really funny <laughs> I want to go ahead and hide any veins on my lids and then the only other places I really want to do it I have a few little blemishes around my mouth and then one like right there and that is all of the concealing that we're gonna do today let me blend this out because I look crazy Okay, so now that we have the concealer laid down, we're gonna go in and kind of set the under eyes before it starts creasing. I'm gonna go in with the RCMA No Color Powder. I keep it in here because the packaging is just ridiculous and really hard to get the powder out of. So I think I've showed you guys in the past, this is my little trick to make it easier for me to grab the powder. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my sponge and start setting that concealer. I'm not baking or anything like that. I'm just taking just enough product to like mattify and make sure we don't crease or anything like that throughout the day. I'm gonna grab just a little bit more and I'm gonna dab um, the excess on the back of my hand because I really don't wanna get too much, but I wanna set these eyelids before they start creasing because my eyelids crease so bad sometimes. And then you can totally take this and just set anywhere else on the face that you find yourself getting oily throughout the day okay so now we're gonna go ahead and work on our brows just because I feel crazy looking without brows and for my more natural brows what I like to do is use this elf little palette it's called the shadow brow and liner palette and let me show you so you can basically use it for all of those purposes so this is what the palette looks like up close you get some really nice matte white shades some tan shades and then it goes all the way up to darker brown so there's basically a little bit of everything for most brow colors so to apply this with I'm just gonna use like a little standard morphe angled brush so I'm gonna start by dipping into this shade right here which is the third shade in the palette so I like to start with the um, inner part of the brow with a lighter color because it looks way more natural and not so harsh. Let me scoot up a little bit. And I will just start kind of creating the shape that I want and then kind of filling in from there. I'm using really, really soft motions because I don't want it to be like crazy intense since it is more of a natural look. And now I'm gonna dip into this darker shade right here for the outer portion of the brow. And this shade is Vara Pigmented, so be very, very careful. And then I'm just gonna kind of draw the arch exactly how I want it. And then just kind of fill in from there. Okay, so this is kind of the shape and intensity that I'm going for. I know my brows are a little bit darker looking and not they may not look super natural, but I have very like thin and light eyebrows, whereas like this up here is my natural hair color and it's really, really dark. So I usually do have to fill it in pretty dark to match like my roots. So it looks a little intense, but compared to what I normally do, it's a little bit more lighter, right? Yeah. It is, for sure. Okay, so brows are completely on. Now I just want to take a little bit of my Anastasia Brow Gel, the clear one, 
and kind of make the brows stand up a little bit more so they look more real and not just like laid down on the face. This will help make them look a little bit more natural. And I know mine are really dark, but that's just what I like. So if you are into a bold brow, just pick a lighter shade or obviously a shade that matches your brow and just don't go quite as heavy as I did. But this is just what I prefer. Even on natural days, I feel like the brows just really frame your face. Okie dokie, so this is the brows completely done with brow gel in. So now let's go ahead and move on to the face. And I wanna first start by applying some bronzer because I'm blending in with this wall basically and I'm not about it. <laughs> Okay, so for our bronzer, we're gonna be using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I don't have the like component all on its own. I actually have it in this limited edition little palette. So unfortunately, they don't sell this whole thing anymore, but they do sell the Butter Bronzer by itself. So I recommend just doing that because honestly, the Butter Bronzer is what I use the most in this palette. I'm in the shade Light Medium, and I really like this bronzer because it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. It doesn't have like actual glitter in it, just like an iridescent. And it just looks really natural on the skin and pretty. So now to apply our bronzer, we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. This is so soft. It's probably like my favorite brush that e.l.f. makes, especially for more natural days since it is so fluffy. It really just airbrushes the product onto the skin. So I'm just gonna start by applying this anywhere that the sun would naturally kiss my face. So just kind of the places that I noticed that I kind of already am getting tan. I'm just gonna intensify it a little bit. And you'll notice I'm not being too like specific about where I put it and not very precise either. I just really want to naturally kind of warm the face up. And then obviously whenever you do your forehead, I'm about to really mess my hair up, but whenever you do your forehead, just make sure you push it into the hairline because then you get that, if you don't, you get that little mask of makeup on and it doesn't look too natural. So we just want it to look as natural as we can get it. And you can just already see, like this side looks so much more kissed by the sun. It looks like I've been outside. I don't look completely pale, but it's very natural. So it doesn't really look like I contoured or applied a lot of bronzer. It just kind of looks like this is what my skin tone naturally is. Whereas, obviously we put it there, but just to compare the forehead, you can see it's a lot more pale and just looks kind of washed out. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and do a little bit of highlighting. This part, again, is optional. If you don't feel like you have time to do highlighting, since we do kind of have a glow going on already, you can totally skip this, but I love to highlight. So I'm gonna go in with the Suva Beauty, oop, wrong side, Suva Beauty Liquid Chrome Illuminating Drops in the shade Imperial. These are so good. So the first thing you wanna do with a liquid highlighter is to really shake it up because it can tend to settle a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my beauty sponge, but I feel like it's dried up a little bit. So we're gonna use that Wet n Wild spray and kind of dampen it again. And then let me show you guys. One drop will do ya pretty good. Then I'm just gonna spread it out so you guys can see what the color looks like. But it's a really pretty soft, like light gold. And with that Beauty Blender that we just dampened, I'm gonna go in very lightly. You really don't even need as much as what comes out. And then I'm even gonna press any excess onto my hand. And then I'm just gonna start working this. See, like, I feel like that is even too much. I'm gonna start working this in very quickly, right on the tops of the cheekbones. And this is just gonna give us a little extra glow, but look really natural since this is a liquid. It really blends in pretty well with the skin and doesn't look super powdery or just, it doesn't look like you have something extra on your skin. Cool, so we're looking pretty highlighted, pretty dewy, pretty glowy, and I love it. I hope that you guys can really see what it looks like. It doesn't look too intense, but it just looks really pretty and glowy. Okay, so I do wanna go in and highlight the inner corner of my eye, but I personally don't want to use the liquid because sometimes I feel like it breaks up in the inner corner of my eye a little bit. So I, I'm just gonna go in with this Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Club. It's the Everglow highlighter. 
And I'm basically just gonna mix the lighter shade and the medium shade together. And we're just gonna use this for our like inner corner highlight. I've tried that liquid in the inner corner and it's not my favorite to be honest, but I love it on the face, so. But now I do want to go in with a little bit of this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. We're actually not gonna use this for the brows. I like to use a like nudie pink liner. It's not a liner, but it's for the brows, but we're gonna use it as liner. I like to use this for the inner waterline. You can see it's really, it's not like super white. It is leaning more towards the white side, but it does have a little bit of peachy, like pinky tones to it. So it's not like stark white. Let me get closer to you guys. So I'm just gonna take my Beauty sponge here and very lightly. So just like that, I didn't. I only did one pass because the more you do, I notice it is kind of creamy. It will like dispense too much product on your eyes and then it will get all cakey looking in your eyelashes and that's just not a cute look. So one pass is all you need. Okay, so basically just like that, let me get closer. You really can't tell all that big of a difference, but if I look down, you can see it a little bit more, I think. <laughs> um, it just really opens your eyes up though. That's like the main point I do it is because I feel like my eyes get lost looking or just look really small. And then whenever I put this on, they just look so much more like bright and just wide awake. So now we're gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. And for mascara, we're gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, or L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I'm sure you guys have heard everyone in the mama talking about this. This is literally my favorite mascara ever, like even out of high-end mascaras. I've tried them all, guys. Trust me, I've tried them all. And this one is like six to eight dollars, just really depending on where you get it. And it is so good. Let me show you what the wand looks like i love this type of wand so since this is more of a fluffy wand i feel like you get a lot of length and volume like all in one which is what i go for whenever i look for mascaras and you will see let me just show you and stop talking <laughs> so we're gonna apply this to the top of the lashes and the bottom lashes so what i like to do with my mascaras is obviously get as close as i can to the inner corner so i can get all those little baby hairs and then just kind of wiggle it into the lashes until I feel they are nice and coated, but not too coated because it can get clumpy if you go too crazy. And then I will turn my mascara this way and grab those outer lashes and kind of pull them like out. I feel like if you just do your lashes all in like one solid motion and just leave it at that, they kind of just look unnatural looking. Whereas whenever you do it, with the ends kind of flared out and then this part up it looks a little bit more wispy and it almost looks like you're wearing falsies which is pretty cool my lashes on the bottom are literally as long as the top one so i <laughs> have to be so careful when i do it so i don't get mascara everywhere because they're so freaking long which i'm not complaining but it just makes it a little difficult okay so let me show you guys up close one I done with mascara and when I was out you can just see how like voluminous and long it makes my lashes look I love it so much like literally such a big difference okay so mascara is all complete and now on to our final step of the no makeup makeup tutorial whenever I'm doing more natural looks I really like to go in with a gloss rather than like a lipstick or a liquid lipstick just because I really can't be bothered like trying to get the lines all perfect and everything. And I really like these Buxom glosses because they have like a little bit of a plumping aspect to them, which I enjoy. If you don't really like the tingly, like minty feel, you may not love these, but I like them a lot and they're not sticky, which is super great. So we're gonna apply this real quick. So this is the gloss on, just really natural, really nothing to it. It basically looks clear because I kind of have more pigmented lips, so yeah. So this is the completed look. I honestly wear this look like nine times out of 10. I'm usually wearing this. Like if I'm not doing anything like 
super important I'll just throw this on and usually if I'm not filming it takes me like five to ten minutes max which is really nice and again thank you for recommending this video and I'll make sure that I get to the other ones that were recommended to me and then also if you weren't able to respond to that little thing I did on Instagram go ahead and leave me a comment down below of a video that you may want to see me do here on my channel and also before you exit out of today's video make sure you give it a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of video but that is it for today's video guys again thank you so much for stopping by and watching and I'll see you all in the next one bye